before we move into new stuff, I, I, what I'll present today is our new website. Uh, as I said in the, in the beginning, we, ha we had kind of a groan, uh, groaning pains in the, in the last two years because now we have 30 university already using the material out there and it's growing very fast. And uh, most of this uh, game is, also, is about ERP system, but it's about business. And it's, uh, we are all faculty in our fields. I'm from MIS, I, I have a colleague in operation management. We are not knowledgeable of everything in a business, uh, even though we are teaching in a business school. So uh, we, uh, we, we have needed to document a lot of stuff related to the game uh, about the simulator, but also business aspect. Why ERP, uh, the SAP is, is doing this in accounting, for example. And we had a problem having stuff all over the place because we had a website, we had a Google group to support our people, uh, we, we had the book, we had the DVD. And uh, so the problem is that we had like too much stuff and that could not be uh, updated during the semester. So we took the decision to create one single website for everyone, the students, the faculty, and the UCC. So everyone gets the latest information online. So let me show you bits and parts of what you'll need. Those that already played a game, you'll see that there, there are neat stuff there that's going to help you to, to better deliver this material. And it's not a, f uh, it's a, it's not a static website. It's going uh, 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 um, to improve over time. And uh, at the end of the presentation, I'll, I'll tell you how, uh, in which direction we will have some content. So let's start with the student material. Uh, so this is the single website, single uh, uh, URL, erpsim.hec.ca. HEC is the name of uh, the business school I, I work. Uh, and uh, erpsim is the name of the, uh, of the simulator. Okay, so, uh, so you get all the information there. And notice that it's English and French. Uh, not everything has been translated to French yet, but it's going <laughs> to it's gonna be in the future. Most of, I think, all of our users are English speaking, so that's the was a pressing need to have that in English. So the first thing is about an introductory uh, video that we have filmed in Adelberg. So we, we, have, we, we were in the, uh, Waldorf uh, two years ago, and while there, we brought the camera. And uh, Jacques, uh, my colleague, uh, the economist in this uh, game, uh, we filmed an, a, a, an introduction video about the game and explaining uh, to the, 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 the students. Uh, it's, a, it's a video for the students, telling them, you've been hired by a company making mostly, and you must make decision. This is the general rule of the game, are explained in a five minute video so you can actually play that in your in your classroom it's on YouTube so anyone can can grab it so it's all about like the main element of this game okay so the main uh, uh, let's say economic model underlying uh, underlying the game so anyone who, who want to get started this is the first thing you you have to listen to this is the storyline and then we have uh, 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 updated, we had already a, a site with Flash application uh, tutorials. It, they have all been revamped for the 6.0 version. They are already available right now, and they are retro-compatible to 5.0. So when you go to our website, the students, when they go to our website, they can actually go and you see on the left-hand side chapter of the book. So for each chapter, there are some online tutorial of how to do stuff in SAP. And the main idea is the following. What I like to do in class is talk to my people and, and discuss the concept, and I hate to do point and clicking with them. I tell them, go to my website whenever you have problem. The how-to is there. Everything is there. It, when you have a problem, first thing you do, go to, the, go to the website, watch the video, and may answer your question. Because we all agree that the main problem right now in academics is receiving emails. So uh, my email is full, <laughs> always. And uh, so I tell my student, first of all, watch the website. And uh, especially if you're working at night and you want to answer Sunday night, maybe that's the best thing where you can first get a, a first answer. They are very neat. They are uh, expanded so that you can really see the fields. Uh, the previous one we had were quite small. Now we have like, a, it's, uh, it's uh, optimized for like uh, 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 1,280. Uh, in size, so you really see something, okay? It's online video, it's the flash quality is, is quite impressive. So I urge you to go there, and what we want to emphasize is the link between the transaction and business process. So we have 
or uh, uh, model some elements. You have a legend there everywhere so that you really make a link between the transaction and the actual blueprint. It's the same blueprint in the book and all videos have a number and they just have to click on the number and they have this flash video. So the main idea is to, and the, uh, I, I mean the necessity is the mother of invention. I was, uh, the, this whole thing was driven by the fact I wanted to reduce my email loads and send the students to, to flash tutorials. Right? And I'm sure you shared the same concern. Next element is the, is the book. So, uh, and this is very important for those of you who already use the game because we, uh, we are discovering the, uh, uh, the business of, uh, of software to this, uh, this whole uh, venture of uh, ERP SIM and uh, uh, we have to manage versions uh, and uh, better manage versions. So uh, the idea is that the following. We have a book that was edited in Sebron 2007, uh, 2007. It's compatible with 5.0 and this is the version that is running under UCCs. Okay, so if you're offering the course this spring, this is the book you, you must use, okay? All the new stuff I'll be presenting you, everything, the development is ready, but must be uploaded on the UCCs in the spring or in the summer. So it's not gonna be until September 08 that all the new stuff I'm showing you will be available. Still, the website is there. All the flash tutorial are still compatible with 5.0, so no worries about sending your students there, but it's the book that is not yet uh, um, uh, available. What we did is we, put, we did put a draft electronic version on, on the website so that you can access and you have all the, uh, uh, you have an idea of what's coming up. It's almost ready, it's really uh, at the typo level. So the book is on the website, you can download it. It's a sample version. We have to, and we, we haven't got to a decision yet uh, with, with the book, <laughs> the will. Actually, the idea is for my two years old daughter, and uh, she's uh, in a bilingual uh, kindergarten, and she's always singing, the wheels on the road goes round and round. Well, <laughs> we had a problem with, uh, with, with the book during the game. It's a game, you know? So the students, they are really involved in the game and they want to, uh, uh, to have a quick reference and we've been asked, why don't you do a quick reference sheet? And what we ate is the transaction orientation of, of doing such a thing, okay? It must be about answering business question and not, a ha not have a list, uh, okay, I need to uh, process a PO, uh, what's the transaction or number? It's, it's not about that, it's about business problem. I have a problem with my sales, how do I change price, right? So we came up with this, it's a, it's a wheel. It's, let's say it's the how-to wheel, okay? And this wheel is oriented toward business problem solving. You're in the game, you have a problem to schedule orders, well, you just dial to schedule orders and you have simple explanation to go through it. So during the game, you don't have to flip through the, to the pages to actually get your information. So this is uh, kind of, uh, this is a prototype. I can actually I have two, and I, I can have them uh, go around the room. I'd like to have them back af afterward. <laughs> it's the one and two version. It's like number one and number two. It's kind of hard to produce, and the idea would be to have them mass produce and then maybe sell them at very low cost so that the students can de get them. We, the idea would be to put them in the book so that they have the book, they have the wheel, and they have the material to actually go and play the game, okay? It's, uh, so this is still a prototype, it's not a, a definitive version, but it's really the where we're going and my, do my daughter will earn the IP of uh, inventing the wheel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I need to go back a couple of slides to... Uh... Okay, so the website, uh, one element, we, one comment, uh, comment we got is with this automation stuff, the students, at the end of the day, before playing the game, they want like a, an overview of what we're doing. And we've come with always blueprinting summary and overview of the game. So on the, on the student's website, you have different tabs where you have always the same modeling, but if you decide, let's say, we want to play a game and automate sales and production, but not pr procurement, well, they have a summary of this what they have to master before the game with all the videos. So this is quite uh, like a, the idea is to always bring everything back to blueprints because this is what we're training. We're, we're training business analysts and they, they have to make the link between the transaction and, and the blueprints.